morning everybody thank you so so much for joining me on this i have to say really sunny and already really warm <laughs> wednesday morning in surrey where i am i hope it's lovely where you are doesn't bode well for a whole day of dancing in my living room it's going to be a hot one but that's okay <laughs> we don't mind that um so i do hope the weather is lovely wherever in the world you are right now so this is our adult ballet class our adult ballet stretch class you will notice that i don't have a chair for this class so i like us if this is your first time of joining to um, think about your core muscles, I do this on my body because that's what I mean, your stomach muscles, your abdominal muscles, um, about being the bar, okay? So that's where your strength is coming from. I do have a yoga mat down on the floor, so towards the end of the class, which is around about 25 minutes in duration, half an hour, um, I will bring us down onto the floor and we will do some gentle stretching as well. As with all of the classes, please listen to your body. If something hurts or you have an injury or a weakness in one area or one joint of your body, then don't do that exercise. But what I would say is if you are skipping anything out, just try and maintain your posture right through to the end of the class, just to kind of keep it working for you. Don't relax until we sort of finish the class and it will still be doing you some some really good okay we're going to start very similar few exercises to what we did on monday if any of you were watching so we're going to start today with a little port de bras stretch and then into a plie at the end so we're going to prepare that right toe and lower into your second position starting with your right arm you're going to draw a circle so you're over crossing your body then with the left we're going to test the balance and lift the arms to second. From here, everybody, we're gonna take a lovely forward stretch, coming down and up with the arms, open the arms, stretch, and close back to first. Then we go with the left arm, and with the right arm, we take a rise, test the balance, open the arms. From here, again, a forward stretch. So every forward stretch, every stretch rather is forwards. Open the arms, stretch the left toe and lower. Then we go right and left, Rise, open the arms, a forward stretch down, point that left toe in, then left, then right, rise and lower, forward stretch. From here, everybody drop the arms down, we go into our plies. So we'll take four plies in our first position, compared to second. Four in second, four back in first, four in second, we'll close into first and we're going to finish on a little rise. I will do the entire thing with you everybody, so don't worry, it's nice and slow, our plies. So let's go for it all together. Let's get the music on. Okay, so we'll prepare our right toe and lower to second position, right arm. Draw a circle. Left arm. Rise up, finding the balance. Lower your arms, uh, lower your feet, take your arms to second. Forward stretch, hamstrings. Coming up with the arms up above the head. Open them wide. Well done. Point that right toe. Close into first. Left arm goes first. Follow with the eyes. Long necks. Rising up. Good job. Open the arms. Breathing in. Forward stretch. Down you go. Hamstrings. Coming up with the arms, up above the head. Open the arms wide. Time to do the left foot. Second position. Let's go from the top, right arm. Left. Rise up. Great job, open the arms to the second. Ready, breathing in. Go forwards, hinge yourself forwards. Coming up the arms up above the head. Take a rise up. Oh, well, there wasn't supposed to be a rise up, but that's okay. <laughs> Let's close into first. Last time, left arm. Right arm. Two. Open the arms. Ready? Forwards, down we go. Forwards, forwards, forwards. Coming up with the arms up above the head. Open them wide. Continue them all the way down. Okay. Here we go with our plie section. Ready? Lift and melt. And stretch. Two. Keeping the feet relaxed on the floor. Bending into the knees. One more. And second. One. Keeping the back lifted, 
Remember the posture, everybody. Stomach's held in. One more. Great job. Back into first. One, two. We're nearly done. You should feel that your upper body's starting to get a little tired now. That's good. It means you're holding on to it. Okay, let's stretch the left foot. Last time, push the knees out as much as your body will allow. Holding on to the stomach and the glutes. One more. And we're all done. Close, finish, and relax. Nice work. Well done, everybody, because that was quite a long exercise, so excellent job. Okay, we are going to move straight on now to a batman tendu. A degage and a grand battement in one. So we did this on uh, Monday, if any of you were watching. We're going to open our arms to the second with the right foot from first. Front and close. Just off the floor and close. Then a kick and a close. A plie, open the arms to second. On the floor. Just off the floor. A kick. A plie, pour de bras. Then we go to the back. I'm going to face the side because I don't have room. A little higher higher still and a plie then we're going to find the balance by rising up and we're taking a reverse port de bras all the way back open to second as we're ready to go on the other side okay so very simple three at a different height on the floor just off the floor slightly higher and a plie port de bras to the front to the side to the back and then we'll rise up reverse the arms and come back out to the second don't worry about how high you can kick your leg at all. What we want to focus on predominantly is how straight we keep our legs. Don't let them bend underneath you, okay? So here we go, everybody. Feet in first. We go on the floor, just off the floor, and kick. Plie pour de bras, side, and just off, and a kick. Plie pour de bras to the along the floor. A batman de gage, as I would call it, or perhaps a glisse, you may know it if you dance regularly. And then a grand batman, which is your leg kick, so a nice high kick, or as, uh, as high as your body will allow. Okay, we are going to move on to a little adage, an arabesque exercise, which again we did on Monday if you were watching. So I'm moving myself back to give myself a little bit more room in front of me. Um, it won't take up too much room, but just take a couple of steps backwards. So we're going to be stepping on our upstage foot. So I talk quite a lot about stage directions. So just to recap, if I'm, what I'm saying is like another language to you, downstage means coming towards the camera, and upstage means going away from the camera. So my upstage leg is going towards the back, so away from you. We're gonna take a big step forward and take your arabesque line. From here, everybody, we're gonna take a fondue and stretch. We're all going to keep it on the floor to start with. We're going to lift that leg to arabesque, lower down, pull up, slotting it behind, change direction, and lower down, bring the other foot in front. So it's the other upstage leg now. Then we go one, arabesque, super simple, fondue, and stretch, and lift, and lower, pull up, Bure backwards, that's a little pitter patter up on tiptoe, lower down. Now, we did this on Monday, and on Monday I said on Wednesday we will take it up one level, so that is what we are going to do. If you are happy doing that level, then please do stick to that. If you wish to give yourself a little bit of a harder workout, this is what we're going to do. Take your arabesque, lift the leg. We're going to fondue, keep the leg lifted. We're going to keep that leg lifted, but lift it even higher, and bure back, 
and stand. Then on the other side, one and two. Establish your balance straight away as you fondue. Keep the leg lifting up and bring. So you have two levels, okay? I'm gonna do on the floor for the first two and then lifting it up for the second two. You can either keep it on the floor for the duration or indeed lift it up for the duration. I will leave it up to you, okay? So let's go for everybody. Try and make that leg as straight as you possibly can behind you. That's the hard part. Okay, here we go. Ready everybody? So we're gonna step on the upstage foot. Huge step forward. One, two, one. Lifting the leg. Bure. Other way. Lifting the leg. Keep that supporting leg on the floor straight. Well done. Okay, here we go again. I'm going to make it a little bit harder this time. Don't let the leg come down. Now we're going to lift the leg even higher. Great job, guys. Once more, here we go. Keep it going if you can. Well done. We'll stand. Great job, everybody. So, that was your arabesque, your first arabesque. We took a fondue. Fondue, the translation is to melt. So you're melting down into that leg keeping that plie. Okay, everybody, have a quick drink of water. You might well need one today, because as I said, it is very, very warm. So, let's carry on. Before we do carry on, actually, I will just tell you, and I know I've been speaking to quite a few of you um, online, <laughs> on messages, I'm working really, really hard at the moment to be able to bring you an online ballet programme for when lockdown starts to get eased and as our lives start to get back to normal. Um, so I'm working really hard right now on bringing that to you. It's going to be a little bit more structured. We've spoken, um, so many of you have requested a kind of bar, like a ballet bar fitness class, which I will be bringing to you. It will be something that we can all do, similarly to what we've been doing these last nine, week, nine weeks, from the comfort of our own home, but it will be a little bit more structured, and there'll be kind of videos and programs that you can follow um, in breaking down the steps and how you, how you do the steps. And of course, it will still involve the live sessions that we do now, because uh, I think lots of you are enjoying them, I'm enjoying them as well. So that works really well. So if there is any, any feedback, or anything that you specifically would like to see and you've always wanted to learn, you know where I am. <laughs> Drop me a direct message, message me on Facebook. Please do, I'm open to suggestions and I want this to work um, as best as it can for you. Message on Instagram, direct message me on Instagram. Okay guys, right, let's carry on. So we are now going to do a very simple um, adage exercise. So we just did some arabesques. But now I want to just do a développé with you. So again, we did this on Monday. So choreographically, very, very easy, but technically really quite demanding. So we're going to peel up our right leg. Développé means to unfold. So we'll unfold that leg to the front, open the arms to the side, and close. That's all we're gonna do, to the front, to the side, to the back. Now we go to the side. Now don't worry, if your leg is lower, it could just be to here, but try and think about um, an imaginary piece of string going up through the top of your head to the ceiling and that other leg going out to the side as well as your arms expanding to the back. I'm gonna face the side. One, two, there's your arabesque. We just did those arabesques and close. Let's just take a pot de bra, bring the arms down and then we're gonna go with the left leg. Okay, everybody? That's all. So one to the front, one to the side, one to the back, pot de bras, and then the same on the left. So holding in the stomach, that is where the strength is going to come from. Okay, so here we go. Shoulders back, strong tummies, but relaxed and elegant, graceful upper bodies. Here we go. And one, tummies in. Take it to the front. Try to keep those legs in turn out. Don't let them turn in. And one. Take it to the side. To the back. One. Arabesque. Okay. Pour de bras. Well done. Keep breathing. Okay, here we go with the left. Ready? 
one, take it to the front, hold, expand, point, close, take it to the side, stretch the toe on the end if you can, point to the back, one, take it to the back, extend, great job guys, we're all done, put a breath, Actually, it's a really, really difficult exercise to do properly <clears throat> when you're taking your leg to the front. Always try and think about your heel coming up to the ceiling. It's too easy for us to kind of extend it in a parallel position. In classical ballet, we always want to think about being turned out. So it's a really good workout for your glute muscles, backs of thighs, and really think about opening out those hips. Okay, we're going to do one jumping exercise before we come down to the floor. So let's, I will say as well, if it is really warm where you are, please keep hydrated, keep drinking whenever, whenever you need to, really important. First position, let's do four jumps in first. One, two, three, four. Four jumps in second. Second, two, three, four. Bring the right foot in front and we're gonna do four changements. Right, left, right, left. A rise up, now we're gonna do one jump but without changing the feet. So just keep the legs crossed. We did this on Monday, you might remember. We go again. First, two, three, four. Second, two, three, four. Then we go. Left, right, left, right. Rise up and jump, but don't change. If the changement are too complicated for you, that's okay. Just do your four jumps in first, four jumps in second, four jumps in first, and rise. You can keep the whole thing in first position if you wish. Just keep jumping as best you can. We're really trying to get the heart rate nice and quick before we slow it down and come down onto the floor, everybody. So if you are gonna do the exercise with me, let's go right foot in front, four in first, one in second. Right, left, right, left, rise up and change, go. One, push the knees out, second, let's go, left, onto the floor. Well done. Okay. Extend those legs in front. Holding onto the stomach. Well done. Open the arms to the second. So we're not doing anything apart from just sitting in our posture. It actually is really quite difficult in itself. Roll the knees up and down, but don't let this happen. Yeah, we want to try and keep those shoulders lifted and back. arms up and let's roll through the stretch and slowly coming up point those toes down you go flex the toes up twice more once more well done everybody this is stretching out your hamstrings and come up well done. Okay, let's bring our legs into a frog position if you can. If you can't, leave those legs out stretched in front of you, sitting tall. Knees down to the side, breathing in. And let's relax forwards as far as we can go. You might just be here as long as you can feel the stretch on your inside thighs. And slowly come up. Okay, now we're going to think about the sternum coming forwards. So flat back, keeping the chest lifted. Great job, let's go again, down. And sitting tall, once more. 
Well done, everybody. Okay, we're going to take the legs out to a straddle position. So they're almost on a V shape. Take the arms to second. Take the right arm up and over to the face. Good, you're framing the face and painting a rainbow over your head at the same time. Once again, here we go. Up. Stretch, feel the stretch down the side of the body. Well done, everyone. Okay, we're going to place the hands on the floor. We're going to walk the hands forward. So this is a really deep uh, inside thigh stretch. Go as far as you can. And you should really feel the stretch on the inside of your thighs. Holding it here for four counts. Stay. Four. Three. Hold it there. Breathe through the pain. And come up. Well done, everybody. Shouldn't feel comfortable, that stretch. If it is comfortable, stretch yourself a little bit further. Give those knees a hug. And cross the legs nice and naturally. Straight backs, hands onto your knees. We're going to do the head and neck. Let's look to the side. Front. And side. And front. We're going to incline the lift. Up. And again, incline. Great job. Okay, we're going to roll the head now. Close your eyes if you wish to relax. Tall backs. chest straight back pull your hands down towards your screen looking down at the floor well done everybody okay we're going to stand up now so nice and gently slowly so you don't get dizzy let's pop our feet into first position everybody okay similarly to how we started our class today take them open to second and forward stretch with the arms up above the head. Great job. Draw a circle with the right arm. Circle with the left. Rise up, find the balance. Check your weight is on the balls of the feet, which is where it should always be in your ballet class. To second, let's relax forwards here. Now we're gonna have heavy arms. Drop them down onto the floor and stay here for two more counts and slowly coming up. Head coming up last. Take the arms up. Great job. Okay, circle with the left first this time. With the right. Great 
Great job. Find the posture, stomach's in. Take shape in the arms, a couple of plies, and we're done. Bend, stretch, bend. Keep your posture, don't let it go yet. Well done. Rising up, take the arms up to fifth. Open to the second, and all the way back down. Well done, everybody. Great job. Toes together. Standing tall. We're all done. Lift one arm up. Take your bow. And stand. Turn those feet into first position. Tondu your right foot to the side. Cross it behind the left. Curtsy. Everybody, well done. I definitely feel like I had a bit of a workout getting a sweat on there. So really well done. As you are dancing at home, and especially as we start to kind of have our hotter days and the summer, and obviously here in the UK, well I certainly don't, not many of us probably have air conditioning, so please, please keep drinking water. It's so, so important. I, I always say that to my students when the seasons get hot, especially. Um, drink lots of water, keep yourself hydrated. So guys, well done. Thank you so much for joining in with me. If you found that class really enjoyable, but you'd like to give yourself a little bit more of a workout, especially in this heat, and get yourself a nice sweat on, then the class I would recommend for you is the mid-level class. So that's for dancers and people who are really enjoying this class, but perhaps don't attend a regular ballet class in normal day-to-day -day life. Try the mid-level class, one of which I'm doing today live at four o'clock. Um, that's four o'clock UK time. Uh, we will have a chair. It's a little bit no, sorry, I always say a little bit. It's a lot more aerobic, so you definitely will need some water. And it follow, follows much more a traditional class structure. And then, of course, if you are somebody who dances maybe once, two, three times per week regularly, and you know all about ballet, then the class for you is definitely the adult intermediate class, which is the most advanced one I'm doing in lockdown in my house. Um, and that tomorrow is at 5 p.m., uh, tomorrow, Thursday, and again, UK time. If you miss any of the classes, don't worry at all. They're all saved on my YouTube channel. Um, the link of which is in my bio, on my Instagram, and on my bio in my Facebook page as well. So whiz over there, and you will see nine weeks worth, I cannot believe it, of streamed classes. They are all color coordinated. This one has a blue color. The mid-level today has yellow, and intermediate, so the advanced class, has the turquoise color. So you will be able to find it there. A um, couple of people just dropping messages to me. Um, drama, thank you. From down here in South Africa, it is winter, but at least sunny. Lovely. I would love to be in South Africa. Beautiful. Um, thank you very much, Sarah. That's from Long Diva. Uh, amazing. Guys, thank you so, so much for tuning in with me. Have a wonderful rest of your Wednesday, and I look forward to seeing and dancing with you soon. All right, guys. Bye.